rhetoric, emotional pleas, uh, ideology, and so forth. Mm. <clears throat> but we have this model, the Freudian model of the unconscious as this seething arena of uh, psychic turmoil and conflict and so on. But there's other models. There are other models of the unconscious. Uh, Castoriadis, for example, has a model of uh, the unconscious is the origin of our creativity, where we get new ideas, new impulses. We make new combinations at a level that's not immediately accessible to us. Well, we could begin to factor that in. That could sort of cool out the, uh, that heavy Freudian thing a bit, perhaps, balance it out a little bit. Uh, and to these, all these elements, we, we must, of course, add uh, what I mentioned earlier, uh, namely the, the gendered civic self, uh, as the feminists have rightly been arguing. And the masculine-feminine distinction has been played out, has played a decisive role, uh, not least in defining the boundaries between public and private. Um, these spheres are, have been under cons constant historical negotiation and still are. And obviously, gender plays an important role here. So if we add also here the, uh, to subjectivity the, the uh, dimension of uh, sexual preference, uh, per perspectives from queer theory, uh, possibilities about uh, intersectionality and so forth, <clears throat> perhaps the post-colonial self, uh, what I'm saying here is that we have a lot of possible options and we tend to be blind and we kind of just go with the routine. Uh, we, we tend not to consider these options as much as we could. And finally, uh, in a way picking up on some of the earlier threads here, the, the, the postmodern self, seen as multiple or fragmented, fluid, contingent, uh, emerges in the write writings of the post-structuralists and theorists of uh, late modernity, liquid modernity, of course, and another, another wet metaphor from uh, Bauman, and uh, <clears throat> offering perhaps less of an ideal and more of a diagnosis of uh, the state of the subject in, in, in our times. Um, there's often an aura of lament about the subject in these analytic portraits, and uh, while there certainly is much troubling here, there, these conceptions of the civic self also hold, hold up promises for a renewed understanding of democracy, perhaps. A new way of understanding how people are, are doing democracy from uh, different grounds of uh, psychic motivation. So, <clears throat> uh, Michel Foucault and Ernesto Laclau and Others inject a fluid perspective on the subject um, in the sense that we should understand the subject as radically contingent, dependent on discourses and contexts. So this helps us, I think, avoid lapsing into that awful thing that's often named as essentialism. Um, we can begin to understand that the subject is not just in uh, ever stable presence, but is in part responding, at least in part, to the immediate circumstances which we are analyzing. So the subject in part being produced by these circumstances. Uh, <clears throat> so what do we do all this with all this? Uh, we become more aware of uh, the implications of the notions of the subject, uh, as particularly as it pertains to civic subjectivity. Uh, we can use various models, test them as explanatory devices in our data, uh, accept, accepting that the uh, real subject, the true subject, whatever that might be, is always larger or more complicated than this. Uh, we can begin to see, uh, adapt the subject, our notions of the subject to different contexts of participation, different modes of participation. Uh, these different contexts and modes may avail arise different uh, 
models of the subject. And perhaps, uh, finally, most of all, uh, this developing, um, being cognizant of possible uh, ways of looking at the subject perhaps can help us understand something very uh, crucial in the process of democracy, and that is the transformation from the pre or para political to the political, the constitution of the political, uh, the engendering of, of, of politics. Uh, and <clears throat> I would suggest that transformation is to a large extent anchored in communication in not just talk, but uh, even in, in forms of mediated uh, representation and, and so forth. But that, that mechanism, that passing over that threshold where uh, the subject moves from uh, something which is pre or prior to the political into something which then is, becomes concerned for uh, democratic theory and analysis. So, <clears throat> To wrap up, uh, I would say this, I, I've just been trying to be uh, subjective, uh, suggestive here, uh, subjective also, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, what, I'm, uh, what I want to leave you with is a, uh, I guess basically this reminder of, uh, uh, that we don't just sort of out of habit lapse into a kind of ready-made notion of, of the subject that we apply in all contexts of uh, analyzing civic culture. And uh, I think our analyses will be, uh, can be made better if we follow this little route. So thanks very much. Thank you.